Improve Your Health, sponsored by Agape Care. November 2nd is World Fertility Day. Meet a dad who feared he'd never become a father because of male infertility and how he has beaten the odds for his baby boy. <laughs> you have to take a step back and realize just how much of a miracle he really is. Two years ago, Eric and Brianne Alves were told conceiving a child was against the odds. When you're told that there's a possibility that you don't have sperm, there's a possibility you're not going to have a child, um, you sort of feel um, the shame. You hear about um, you know, shooting blanks or people joking about it, and I didn't know it was a real thing. Eric was diagnosed with azospermia, a condition causing male infertility. After meeting with several specialists, Cleveland Clinic urologist Dr. Neil Perek offered hope. All the studies and literature show that you know, infertility is a couple's disease. 50% uh, of the time, there is male factor uh, involved in infertility, so it's not only the female side. After a year of testing and trying medications, the couple opted for a surgical solution called microtessy. They go into the testicles, they pull tissues, and then they will look under a microscope and hope to find sperm. While Eric was in surgery, Brienne underwent an egg retrieval down the hall. I was being wheeled over to go wait for Eric in the waiting room. Dr. Parekh actually stopped me in the hallway to tell me that they had found sperm. So it was a really, really exciting time. Um, I will never forget that moment. Four months later, an embryo was transferred into Brienne's uterus and then the best birthday gift Eric could ever imagine. I was hoping to be able to give him a positive test for a gift and it worked out. We realized you know, what we were dreaming of was going to happen. Baby Noah is now seven months old. His parents say he's an easy baby, but admit bringing him into the world was not. I will be the first to tell you that it's not easy but I will also be the first to tell you that it's worth it, 100% worth it. The journey seems long and it's going to be a while. You know, don't give up. I would do it all over again um, if I meant to have my son. The Centers for Disease Control estimates about 9% of men in the United States are infertile. Dr. Parekh adds that infertility in general is rising globally. He encourages couples to talk to their doctors or seek out a specialist if they are struggling to conceive.